Hello, FM. Today is March 31st. I'm Grace. And I'm Lauren. I'm Jack. Thanks to all who participated in last week's FM P2 Spear Week. Did you miss it? Here's a little bit of what you missed. P2 is highlighting things that are happening within our community, small acts of kindness or creativity, and ways that you are all showing character within your homes and neighborhoods. Maybe it will inspire the rest of us to act, too. DM us your pictures slash videos on Instagram to be featured. On Friday, Governor Andrew Cuomo said all schools, including FM, would stay closed until at least April 15th. The governor planned to reevaluate the state of the schools in two weeks, but with the social distancing guideline extended Sunday by President Trump, it is very likely for those plans to be changed. Make sure to follow up at the FM website, fmschools.org, for updated plans in our district and important information from Superintendent Tice. The district is closely monitoring federal, state, and local guidance and is preparing to extend its existing contingency plans for instruction, student support services, child care, and the delivery of school meals in case the school closure is extended past April 14th. Eagle Hill technology teachers Bob Levy and Matt Sick saw a community need they could meet with school technology currently not in use because of the emergency school closure. Levy and Six are printing two parts of the face shields, a visor and clip. They began printing March 26 and delivered six visor parts that day and estimate they'll be able to create and donate a total of at least 16 a day. Speaking of school resources, here's another video from our library staff. One of the things that you can do to stay smart while school is closed is read for pleasure. There are many documented benefits of reading for pleasure. Um, for one thing, it helps reduce uh, depression and anxiety, which you may be feeling a little bit right now that you've been cooped up for a while. Um, and when you can't really leave the house very much. The good news is it doesn't really matter what you read as long as you're reading. So we showed you on our very first segment how, how on the uh, library webpage we have um, directions for how to check out a, an audiobook or an ebook. So you can read right on your own device, a phone, a tablet, a computer. Hopefully you have some books at home as well so you can read those physical books. It doesn't matter if you go back and read Diary of a Wimpy Kid, even though you may be a senior in high school. That kind of reading brought you pleasure once, and it's going to bring you pleasure again. So it's really good to keep reading and maybe um, working on some reading with your friends as well. Maybe set up a Zoom or a Google uh, Hangout Meet session so that you can talk about the books you're reading. We were going to have an author come visit FM High School on March 31st. She's unfortunately had to cancel, but we're going to postpone that uh, visit to another time when we're in session. The two books that she currently has out are Wolf Hollow and Beyond the Bright Sea. She also has a third coming out. I recommend that if you're looking for something to read, perhaps you read one of these two books, uh, as this author will be coming to do writing workshops and an options assembly with us uh, as soon as possible. One thing we'd like to remind you is that we do have 
a Twitter account for the library. We haven't really been using it lately, uh, but we would like to revive that so that students can share out their ideas, show us what they're reading, and have conversations with each other. So stay smart, keep reading, see you next time. Thanks. If you're anything like the rest of us, eating is one of your new hobbies. Here's a tip from one of our classmates on something you can make at home to conquer your appetite. If you're stuck at home with nothing to do, then you should make these cookies. They're very easy to make with ingredients you should have around your house. First, make sure to wash your hands for the health and safety of yourself and others, especially during this time. The ingredients you will need are butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, salt, vanilla extract, baking soda, baking powder, an egg, flour, milk, and chocolate chips. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Mix a third cup and one tablespoon of granulated sugar, a third cup of brown sugar, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt, and a half cup of butter. Add one egg and mix. Then add one and a half cups of flour. I like to mix it in thirds so there isn't a big puff of flour. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of milk. Then add two cups of chocolate chips. I did one cup of mini chips and one cup of regular sized chips. Then get two sheet pans and either spray them with oil or put parchment paper on them. Roll the dough into about one and a half inch spheres and place them about two inches apart from each other. Bake for 12 to 16 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. Let the cookies cool in the sheet pans until they're cool enough to touch. For FMTV, I'm Evan Roos. Thanks, those look delicious. And just a note that if you have a school issued Chromebook and are having any problems with technology, you can contact the help desk at 315-692-1111. There is an experienced dedicated staff there to help you during all regular school hours. Well, that's all we have for today. Stay tuned later this week for the next FM TV. Have a great day, FM. I miss all of you.